enter the food swamp. The Guardian reports that with CVS selling more groceries than Whole Foods and Trader Joe's combined, researchers fear that food deserts are becoming swamps of processed foods. In 2017, CVS held 3.9 percent of the grocery market. Walgreens came in at 2.4 percent. Compare those to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's, which has 1.4 percent and 1 percent respectively. The nature of pharmacies may help fill the grocery gap where affordable options are scarce, but some researchers are concerned that this low price convenience comes with a very high cost. Michael Ruhlman, a chef turned author who wrote the book Grocery, says there's a great irony in that food sold at the pharmacy, essentially a place meant to promote our health, is actually bad for you. In a 2016 study, researchers stocked corner stores in food swamps across East Los Angeles with affordable produce, hoping to test whether food retail interventions could be successful. They weren't. While perceptions of the stores and community accessibility changed, patrons continued to purchase processed food instead of the fresh stuff. And while pharmacy shelves are still stocked with junk food, they're also beginning to expand their offerings. Walgreens announced last year that it was testing out a new partnership with Kroger, launching Kroger Express grocery sections that include organic items inside 13 Kentucky locations, along with adding Kroger products to its online store.